senior Justin Peterson. And for Toma, sophomore Josh Bowler. start at 103 pounds. Brandon Music, who has never wrestled at the varsity level, will wrestle at 112 for Toma. Otherwise, those are the first two matches for Toma coming up to see Ben Hauser, Brandon Music, and Kevin Sullivan. Hugh Lohr, 12 and 7 for Pullman. Lohr is a junior, and Ben Hauser a freshman. So we started at 103 pounds tonight with the luck of the draw. You never know where you're going to start, but we do start with the luck of the draw at 103 tonight. Kevin Benhauser and Lohr right now going at it to start things off at 103. He said Kevin Benhauser, a freshman, 28 and 6 with three pins. And Hugh Lohr, his opponent, a junior, is 12 and 7 for Holman. About a minute gone, the first period, no score yet, 103 pounds. Sole possession of first place to the winner of the MVC. And both these teams 4 0 coming in the MVC. Toma 15 and 1 overall. This on paper was the way things were supposed to go. When the season began, you looked at the 26th of January, figuring it would probably come down to these two teams for the MVC title. match tonight, Kevin Van Housen for Toma and Hugh Lohr for Holman. Still no score. With a half minute to go in period one. Scored 103. Brandon Music will wrestle next for Toma. Brandon is a junior, and it'll be his first varsity match ever. And he'll be taking on 
Jared Bagnuski, a very good wrestler for Holman. Next at 112. Kevin Benhauser for Toma, a freshman, and Hugh Lohr, a junior for Holman, still no score. In our first match of the night at 103 pounds, with a minute and a half to go in period two. One point of stake for Benhauser. Stewart came down to the final dual match of the season at Holman, and the Indians won 31 29. <laughs> Minute 10 to go in period two. Kevin Benhauser still hitting for Toma, 1 0 over two lower of Holman. Less than a minute to go in the first period, second period now. seconds ago in the second period. Kevin Benhauser still leading one to nothing. Nothing. Kevin Benhauser leading for Toma. Individual score, bottom right and left, and the team score on top. So Kevin Benhauser with the reversal late in period two, leading three to nothing against Hugh Lohr of Holman at 103 pounds. Our first match of the night. You can see control for Toma. Of Hugh Lohr of Holman. Minute five to go in the match. Bethauser still hitting 3 0. In a minute to go in the match. Still 3 0. Bethauser leading for Toma at 103 pounds. <laughs> 35 seconds to go in the match. 4 0. Bethauser leading now. Over Hugh Lore of Holman. First match of the night, as we started 103 tonight. Twenty seconds ago in the match. Benhauser still leading 4-0, 4-1 now. 
One point escape for Lohr. Less than 10 to go in the match. Five to go in the match now. And Kevin Benhauser will win for Toma to start things off. Kevin Benhauser wins for Toma, four to one. Twenty-ninth win of the season for the freshman, Kevin Benhauser, twenty-nine and six now. The goal leading and team score three nothing. And now junior Brandon Music is gonna wrestle at the varsity level for the first time. Jared Bagnuski, a very good wrestler for Holman. Bagnuski, 32 and 3. So Bagnuski will be the heavy favorite on paper in this one. Very first varsity match ever for the junior Brandon Music. Music is a junior, as is Bagnuski for Holman. Well, Bagnuski, 32 and 3 record coming in. And Brandon Music, first varsity match ever for Toma. No score, a little more than a minute to go in period one. 3 0, Toma leading in team score, getting a decision at 103 pounds out of Kevin Benhauser. Less than a minute to go now in period number one. And Brandon Music still scoreless with Bagnuski at 112 pounds. If you look on paper, Toma would have been the favorite at 103 and they won at 103. On paper, Holman is the favorite 112. So there's a lot of matches on paper tonight where either Tom or Holman have a favorite. But if those matches swing one way or another, you don't know the outcome. That's just it. Perfect example in this match. Brandon Music, first varsity match ever, holding his own with Jared Bagnuski. Less than 10 seconds to go now in period number one. And period one will end scoreless between Brandon Music and Jared Bagnuski. Tomling and team score. Three to nothing. This is our second match of the night as we started at 103 pounds. Sole possession of the Mississippi Valley Conference at stake tonight. As both Holman and Toma, 4-0 in the MVC. Logan at 2-1 and one, and Aquinas at 2-2. Two two. The top four going in two tonight. Tom will be at Logan on Monday, the 30th. And his Holman team with one more match. At home against Central on Tuesday next week. One to nothing, Bagnuski is leading Brad in music. Kevin Sullivan coming up next for Tillman 119. That's Brandon Music holding his own so far for Tillman. Down one nothing to Van Nuski.
Less than a minute to go in the second period. Jerry Bagnuski of Holman still leading Brandon Music of Toma, one to nothing. At 112 pounds. Twenty-nine seconds ago in the second period. Magnuski still leading one nothing. Two more points for Magnuski on a takedown. Three nothing, Magnuski. Seconds taken away here in period number two. Bagnuski leading music to three to nothing. Here you see the individual score bottom of the screen, right corner, left corner, team score on top. Three to nothing, Toma. Getting a win out of Kevin Bradhouse with 103 to start the night. One point escape for music, it's three to one now. He travels back Houston. <laughs> Minute and a half to go in the match. Bagnuski is still leading music. Three to one. Bagnuski, 32 and three coming in. And for Brandon Music of Toma, his first varsity match ever. He trails five to one now to Bagnuski. Bagnuski thinking pin with a minute to go in the match now. As he lets Music up five to two, Music trails Bagnuski. Forty-five seconds to go in the match. Five to two. Bagnuski leading Brandon Music. Halfman to go now. Still five to two, music trailer. Thirteen seconds to go in the match. Ragnuski is saluting five to two. Bagnuski will win for Holman, 5-2. to two. A brand of music in his first varsity match ever held his own. So brand of music, his first varsity match ever held his own, losing 5-2 to two for Toma. 119 now with a match tied at 3. Aaron Murray, a sophomore for Holman. Murray, 17 and 11. And Kevin Sullivan, a senior for Toma. Sullivan, 16 and 5. With one pin. So Aaron Murray for Holman. Kevin Sullivan for Toma at 119 now.
As we said, Kevin Sullivan, 16 and five record. And Aaron Murray, a sophomore, 17 and 11. Sullivan, a senior. So each team has won a match so far. Kevin Sullivan in control for Toma. Sullivan in control at the moment for Toma. Of Aaron Murray, senior against the sophomore. Six to one. Sullivan is leading with a minute gone in the first period over Murray. Coming down to a half minute to go in the period, period one, 6-1, Kevin Sullivan leading Murray of Holman. 32 seconds to go in the first period. Justin Pollock coming up next for Toma at 125, followed by Adam Bart at 130, and Zach Taylor at 135. Twenty seconds to go in the period. Period one, Sullivan still in control for Toma. Of Aaron Murray. Final seconds of period one. Parents night tonight. It's also senior night tonight. All the parents were introduced before the match as well as the competition cheer team and their parents. Had a lot of JV matches, so this varsity match started a good half hour later than it was scheduled to. With all the parents being introduced in the JV matches, taking long, a lot of JV matches. The crowd that arrived early had to sit around for a while for the varsity match. It started about eight o'clock or a half hour later. Sullivan leading six to one as we go to period two now. Eight to one, Sullivan leading Murray. And his 119 pound matchup. Aaron Murray, a sophomore for Holman. Kevin Sullivan, a senior for Toma. Good point reversal by Sullivan. And now Murray in trouble for Toma. Should say Sullivan in trouble for Toma as it was reversed by Murray. Eight to five, the lead at three now for Kevin Sullivan. As Aaron Murray picking up some points a moment ago for Holman. A minute to go in the second period. But it's Murray now in control of Sullivan. Call a reversal of what we saw in period one. Half minute to go in the period. Murray still in control for Holman, Kevin Sullivan. Sullivan led eight to one earlier in this period. Now he leads eight to five, and now Kevin Sullivan with the escape for Toma. Leads nine to five. Final seconds tick away in period two. That's the end of period two. Nine five, Sullivan leading for Toma. Kevin 
Sullivan leading 11 to 5. 11 5 is the road to period of three now. Match tied at three. Kevin Badhauser winning at 103 for Toma. And Jared Bagnuski winning at 112 for Holman. At this moment, 11 5. Kevin Sullivan still in for Toma at 119 pounds. One point escape for Sullivan, 12 to 5 he leads now. in a minute to go in the match now. Sullivan still leading 12 to 5, but Murray in control for Holman. Forty seconds to go in the match. Sullivan leading 12 to 7 now. Thirty seconds to go. Sullivan still leading 12-7 over Murray. Ten seconds to go. Six to go. And Kevin Sullivan will win for Toma at 119. Kevin Sullivan wins for Toma. 12 to 7. Kevin Sullivan, 17th win. He wins 12 to 7. Winning by a score of 12 to 7. Kevin Sullivan, a total of. Hundred and twenty five pounds is coming up. Matt Nelson for Holman. Matt is a junior, six and six record. Justin Pollock for Toma. Justin, a freshman, ten and two. So Pollock and Nelson at 125. Toma leading in team score, six to three now. Bethauser are winning on the session at 103 for Toma. And Ruski won on the session at 112 for Holman. And Sullivan winning on the session a moment ago at 119 for Toma. So 6-3, Toma League in team score. Pollock leading in this match, 2-0 for Toma against Nelson. Again, Matt Nelson, 6-6. Six and six. A junior, Justin Pollock, a freshman, 10 and 2 with one pin on the season. And he'll let Nelson up. 2 to 1 leading now is Pollock. NBC Wrestling on the Hagen Sports Network. Sole possession of first place to the winner as these teams come in there with identical 4 0 records in the NBC. Holman with one more match remaining this Monday at Logan. And Holman with one match remaining this Tuesday at Ojo Central. Matt is not a bad Logan team. They gave Holman all they would want. Holman only beat Logan by 11 points. Less than a minute to go in the period, period one. 6-3. Team score, Toma leading Holman. And Pollock leading in the match for Toma, 2-1 to one against Matt Nelson. At 125 pounds. Pollock in control now for Toma with a half minute to go in the first period. Ten 
10 seconds ago, first period. Pollock still in control for Toma. That'll be the end of period one at 125. Pollock leading six to two. Team score you can see, six to three, Toma leading Holman. Adam Barda coming up next at 130 for Toma. Zach Taylor at 135 and Josh Vollmer at 140. Your next match is for Toma. Six to three. Pollock leading this match for Toma. Two point touchdown, Pollock. Pollock will just let Nelson up as you see. Eight to four, Pollock leading Nelson now. Both these teams had a strong program last season. Strong again this year, a lot of good wrestlers coming back next couple years, so both these programs, Tolman and Holman, will appear to be in pretty good hands for the upcoming future. Indians wrestling four seniors tonight. Holman's wrestling seven. Break down. Holman wrestling seven seniors, four juniors, and three sophomores. And the Indians wrestling four seniors, five juniors, two sophomores, and three freshmen. We're looking at one of those freshmen right now. Justin Pollock. We saw the other freshman, one of three freshmen earlier, winning on a decision. That was Kevin Benhauser. And coming up down the road, our final match of the night will feature freshman John Van Gundy. So if it's a close match, a lot of people feel it will be, it's going to come down to the big guys tonight. Unless somebody sets the tone earlier. Hasn't happened so far, no pins yet. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the second period. 12 to 6, Pollock still leading for Toma. And here's Pollock, Pollock looking pin. There's Pollock looking pin. That'll be the end of period number two. Boy, had Justin Pollock had another 30 seconds, maybe even less than that. He might have pinned Nelson. He leads 15 to 6, though. But you want to believe that Pollock had another 10 to 15 seconds. He might have won on a pin a moment ago. He leads 16, 17 to 6 now. Take down by Pollock, 19 to 6 he leads. So Pollock on his way to what could be a major decision win. Leading 19 to 7. Minute 16 to go in the match, 19 to 7. Waiting for Toma. Justin Pollock trying to win his 11th match of the season.
Leading 10 to 7 now is what the scoreboard shows. I thought it was actually more than that. The scoreboard shows 10 to 7. Pollock with a technical flaw for Ian Fatoma. Scoreboard shows 12 to 7, but that's not right. Justin Pollock wins on a technical flaw for Toma. Toma leading 11 to 3 in team score now. As we go to 130 pounds, Adam Barda for Toma, a junior. Barda 26 and 6. Based on James Phillips for Holman. Phillips a sophomore. Eight and three is James Phillips against Sparta at 26 and six. It's been all Barta so far. Adam, 26 and six with 10 pins on the season. He's been in control of James Phillips this whole match so far, leading two to nothing. Taylor coming up next to Toma. Now here's Barda looking pin. Barda looking pin for Toma. Minute seven in the match. A pin for Adam Barda as he led with the season. Seven, the time of the pin for Adam Barna. Home leading in team score now, 17 to 3. 135 pounder Zach Taylor for Toma. Paul Steffen. A very good wrestler for Holman. Stefan with 129 wins in his career. For Holman, 129 wins. Girardi coming up later for them has 131 wins. Stefan with 129 against Zach Taylor. Stefan 34 and 4. Zach Taylor 15 and 9. This is one of these matches we talked about earlier on paper. Stefan's the heavy favorite, but with emotions running the way they are tonight, hard to say how much that's going to mean. But Holman in control with Stefan right now. Stefan leading Zach Taylor 2 to nothing. Tom leading in team score 17 to 3. Josh Vollmer coming up next at 140. Jacob McGinnis at 145. And Josh Von Hayden at 152. Your next match is for Toma. Stefan still in control, as you can see, of Zach Tiller. Coming down to 10 seconds ago in the first period. And Stefan will lead after period for Holman. Two nothing, Stefan leading Zach Taylor. Holman leading the team score, 17 to three. So 
So Stephan leading two to nothing as we go to period two at 135 now. Stephan still leading Zach Taylor, but a one-point escape for Zach. Makes it five to one now, he trails Stephan. With a minute to go in the second period, Stephan leading Taylor 5-1. And now Stephan trying to control Taylor, but Taylor gets off his back for Tomo. Forty seconds ago in the second period, seven to one now. Paul Stephan looking for his thirty-fifth win of the season, leading Zach Taylor. Twenty seconds ago in the second period. Under 10 to go in the period, period two. And that'll be the end of the second period. And Stephan leading for Holman, seven to one over Zach Tiller. Two minutes of this 135 pound match. Zach Taylor for Toma. And Paul Stephan for Holman. Stephan, as we said, 34 and 4 coming in. 129 career wins at Holman. Stephan is a senior. Zach Taylor a junior. Holding his own so far, trailing 7-2 to though, to Stefan. This is a match where Stefan came out thinking, I need to win on a pin. Well, he hasn't so far. He leads 9-2 to though for Zach Tiller. With about a minute to go in the match now. And Zach, main goal right now to stay off his back if he can for Toma. Minute exactly to go in the match. Stephan leading Taylor nine to three. Tolling and team score at the moment seventeen to three. Started at 103 pounds tonight for the finish with the big guys. Stefan leading 12 to 3 now. 20 seconds ago in the match. 18 to go in the match now. And Paul Stefan 18 seconds away from its 130th career win at Holman High School. Leads Taylor 12 to 3. Less than 10 to go in the match now. So Stephan will win against Zach Taylor at 135 pounds. Stephan wins for Holman.
Paul Stephan gets the major decision, winning 12 to 3. Seventeen seven Tomlinian team score now as we go to the 140 pounders. Josh Vollmer for Toma. Justin Peterson for Holman. Peterson is a senior. In control of Vollmer so far. Justin Peterson, a senior, very respectable record, 32 and 5 coming in as Peterson, 32 and 5. And Josh Vollmer for Toma, 19 and 12. Vollmer only a sophomore. The sophomore for Toma going against the senior for Holman right now. Peterson in control of Vollmer. A little more than a minute to go in the first period. Justin Peterson. Still in control of Josh Vollmer as he lets him up now. Two to one, Peterson naming Vollmer. Less than a minute to go in period one. Two more points. And then as you see, he lets him up. Goes Peterson. It's Peterson thinking pin right here. That's what Stefan had in mind last match for them. Stefan didn't get the pin on Taylor, but he did get a major decision and four points for Holman. But right here, Justin Peterson thinking pin for Holman, wanting to pin Homer. Nine seconds to go in the second in the first period. That'll be the end of period one. Home leading in team score 17-7. And Justin Peterson leading in this match 6-3 for Holman. Jacob McGinnis coming up next for Tolman, 145. Josh Von Hayden at 152 and Ben Haynes at 160. Your next match is for Toma. Everything's been in stone so far. Every match that was scheduled before tonight has taken place so far. Well, depending how the matches go and how deep we get into this one, we may see either Holmer or Toma make some switches and we get a little bit later on in the match. We'll see. No switches so far, though. 11 to 5. Justin Peterson still leading Josh Homer at 140 pounds. Forty-five seconds to go in the second period now. Justin Peterson still leading Josh Vollmer 13 to 5 at 140 pounds. Twenty-eight seconds to go, second period. Thirteen five. Justin Peterson still leading for Holman against Josh Vollmer. Thirteen six now, as he let Vollmer escape a moment ago. Oh. 
Final seconds tick away in period two, which has been all Justin Peterson so far. Leading Josh Fulmer 15 to six now. So the final two minutes of this 140-pound matchup. Fifteen seven. Peterson still hitting Homer. Minute eleven to go in the match now. Seventeen seven. Justin Peterson leading for Holman. Over Josh Vollmer of Toma. Less than a minute to go in the match now. Peterson still in control of Vollmer. Coming down to a half minute to go in the match now. Peterson in control, still leading Vollmer 17-7. 20 seconds to go in the match. Seventeen seven. So Justin Peterson will win for Holman at 140 over Josh Vollmer. 33rd win for Peterson. Tomling and team score 17 11 now. It was 17 to 3 two matches ago, but Holman's won the last two. 145 pounders now. Jacob McGinnis for Toma. Ryan Stalsberg for Holman. McGinnis with the takedown. McGinnis, 26 and 7 for Toma. He has 16 pins. 16 of McGinnis's 26 wins have come via the pin. He'd love to get another one right here. McGinnis and Stalsberg. Stalsberg, a junior, 13 and 5. McGinnis, a sophomore. 26 and 7. Stallsburg just coming back off an injury. He hasn't been with Holman the whole season, so he's come back recently. He just makes the team a lot better to Stallsburg. He trails McGinnis 4 to 1 here at 145 pounds. Less than a minute to go in period number one. Holman leading in team score 17 to 11. Josh Von Hayden next at 152. Ben Haynes coming up at 160. And Corey Elsing at 171. The next three matches for Toma. We started tonight at 103, so we'll finish with the big guys at 275.
Less than 20 seconds to go in the first period. Stahlsburg now in control of McGinnis, and McGinnis gets out of it. One point of state for McGinnis. As period one will come to an end. Tolman leading, in Toma leading in team score. Tolman leading 17-11. They led 17-3 two matches ago. And at the moment, McGinnis leading 5-3 in this match. Match is not expected to be a blowout either way. And it probably will not be when it's all said and done. McGinnis in control for Toma. Jacob McGinnis for Toma. Ryan Stahlsberg for Holman. 145 pounders. It's 5-4 McGinnis hitting Stahlsberg now. One of these matches that the experts looked at and said on paper it could go either way. McGinnis leading 7 5 with less than a minute to go in the second period. some talk that when we get to 160 pounds, two matches from now, that Holman may switch. We'll see. As far as who takes on Ben Haynes. Right now, Brian Hansen is scheduled to wrestle Haynes. We'll see what happens. 20 seconds to go in the second period of this one. Again, it's leading 7-5. Well, McGinnis looking pin. But he's not going to get it this period. McGinnis had him, but he's not going to get the pin. McGinnis leading 12 to 5 now. For the period to go at 145 pounds. Still six matches to go after this one. It's really in her eighth match of the night. So long way to go on this one. One point escape from McGinnis. 13-5, McGinnis leading for Toma. It's another one of these matches and McGinnis obviously wants to win, but he would like to come out of here with a pin. Every point counts. When you have two teams as equal talent-wise as these two are, a pin here, a point there will make a huge difference. We've only had one pin so far. That came from Adam Barda at 130 pounds for Toma. That's been it. Little more than a minute to go now in the match. McGinnis still leading 15 to 6 over Stalsburg. <laughs> 40 seconds to go. McGinnis leading 16 to 8. to go. Again, it's still on top, 16-8. 20 seconds to go in the match. And Jacob McGinnis still leading 16-8 for Toma against Stalsburg. Seconds tick away. 
And McGinnis will win for Toma. wrestlers in the area for Holman. Jordan Girardi, a senior, with 131 career wins for Girardi, 131 career wins against Josh Von Hayden for Toma. Girardi, 27 and 2 coming in, takes on Josh Von Hayden, a junior. Von Hayden. 19 and 7 coming in. Doing five pins. Tom Lenny and team score 20 to 11 now. Over Holman. Six matches to go, counting this one. Ben Haynes coming up next at 160 for Toma. Josh Von Hayden with a 2 0 lead for Toma against Girardi. Haynes, as we said, 160 coming up next. Corey Elson to follow at 171. Justin Randall at 189. Tyler Eckelberg at 215 in her final match of that. John Van Gundy for Toma at 275. So five matches to go after this one. 20 to 11 at the moment, Toma leading Holman. And Josh Von Hayden at the moment leading Girardi in this match. 2-0 at 152 pounds. Two to one now, Josh Von Hayden leading Girardi. 20 seconds to go in the first period. Appreciable job, Josh Von Hayden did in period one for Toma. So we got a period two now. Josh Von Hayden leading Jordan Girardi at 152 pounds. and Tom Lennon team score. <laughs> Minute and a half to go here in the second period. Tied at two now between Girardi and Von Hayden.
it's not. I thought it was going to look like a takedown for a moment. But no takedown. Matt's still tied to two. Indians wrestling for the first time tonight in 12 days. Much needed rest. As he came off back to back tournament championships at Nielsville. Nakusa. Josh Von Hayden down hard on the mat for Toma. This is where we're at right now at 152 pounds. Josh Von Hayden Josh okay. Match. He trails 6 to 2 to Girardi now. Girardi picking up some points, leading 6 to 2. Well, it's the, the only three way matches so far. Uh, uh, Final 15 seconds of period 2 picking away. Girardi in control still for Holman. Twenty eleven Tomalidian team score. Six to two Girardi leading the match for Holman. So one another one of these matches where Girardi is coming in here thinking he's gonna pin Von Hayden. He hasn't so far. He leads six to two as we start period three now. Jordan Girardi in control for Holman, leading in the match 6-2, 20 seconds in the period 3, over Josh Von Hayden. now. Girardi leading Von Hayden still. Six to two. After they picked up a point. Von Hayden just picked up a point. It's six to three now. With a little more than a minute to go in the match. Six to three. Jordan Girardi. Leading Von Hayden, 6 to 3 with a minute to go in the match at 152 pounds now. And down hard on the match goes Von Hayden. He's going to award a point to Von Hayden as he was slammed on the mat by Girardi. Time the clock is continuing to run here. Injury timeout. So hopefully Josh Von Hayden will be able to continue for Toma. He trails by two points to Girardi, six to four. From a crowd trying to get behind Von Hayden now. 45 seconds to go in the match. Thirty seconds to go in the match. 
Girardi in control for Holman. Fifteen seconds ago. But he had his hands full of Von Hayden. to Pounders, Ben Haynes for Toma, Ryan Hansen for Holman. Toma winning a team score 20 to 14 now. Hansen and Haynes at 160. Haynes hitting 2-0. Thirty seconds gone in the first period. Haynes hitting Hanson two to one now. Four to one, Haynes hitting Hanson. Ben Haynes, 117 career wins at Tomo High School. 30 and 1 on the season. His only loss at Bi State for the senior Ben Haynes. And Ben trying to get a 31 and 1 tonight against Hanson. Ryan Hanson, very respectful record for Holman at 28 and 5. As you said, Ben Haynes at 30 and 1 for Toma. So Hansen's record not too shabby either. 4 to 2, Haynes is leading Hansen. Toma leading in team score by 6. Four matches to go after this one. had one pin all night and that came from Thomas Adam Barta at 130 pounds and that's been it. Six to two Ben Haynes Lenny Hansen for Toma. And after a period Toma leading the team score still 20 to 14. And Ben Haynes leading the match, 6-2 for Toma against Brian Hansen. Hansen also a senior, one of seven tonight wrestling for Holman. Toma wrestling just four seniors tonight. Obviously Ben Haynes won the four. One twenty one to go in the second period. Ben Haynes deleting Hansen six to two. Corey Olsen coming up next at 171 for Toma. Be followed by Justin Randall, Tyler Eckelberg, and then John Ben Gundy to win the wrestling at tonight. 
started at 103 and will obviously end with the big guys. 6-2, Haynes to leading now 8-2. Two more points for Haynes. Paper, and again, we talked about on paper. But on paper, these matches coming up after this one, on paper, do favor Holman as far as overall records. We'll see what happens on paper. Holman will be the favorite in the matches coming up. Eight to three, Haynes leading after two periods. Justin Randall will probably be considered the favorite at 189 for Toma. But on paper, at 171, 215, and 275, Holman on paper again will be considered the favorite. We'll see what happens. We consider the favorite. Dan Hansing, Hansen, 10 3 with a period to go now. Ben Haynes on the season for Toma with a 30 and 1 record. But he only has five wins via the pin. He has 15 wins on technical falls as Haynes. And four wins, major decisions. ahead of Hanson, 10 to 5, a little more than a minute to go in the match at 160 now. Less than a minute to go in the match. Ben Haynes still hitting 10 to 5 for Toma. Against Brian Hanson. Forty seconds to go. Hanson still in it, trailing Haynes ten to five. Is Hanson thirty seconds to go now? Hanson in control of Haynes, but Haynes leading in the match ten to five. Fifteen seconds to go in the match. Haynes still leading 10-5. So Haynes is going to win for Toma. 10-5 would appear to be the final here over Hanson at 160 pounds. Picks up his 31st win for Toma, 118th of his career, winning 10 to 5. Now at 171 pounds, Nick Mitchell for Holman. Corey Elsing for Toma. Mitchell 24 and 9. He is a senior. Elsing a junior. He is 6 and 6. Toma leading in team score 23 to 14 now. With four matches to go, counting this one. Okay. 
Justin Randall, Tyler Eckelberg, and John Van Gundy yet to wrestle for Toma. Less than a minute to go in the first period. Still no score between Mitchell and Elsing at 171 pounds. Less than a half minute to go in the first period now. Two and nothing, Mitchell picks up a couple of points for Holman. Getting Elsing two to nothing now. Final seconds took away in period one. And Mitchell will lead after period for Holman. Team score at the moment with four matches to go, 23-14, Toma leading Holman. And Mitchell leading in the match, 2-0 for Holman. Elsing trilling now. Minute and a half to go in the second period. Mitchell leading Elsing 3 0. Fifty-eight seconds to go in the second period. Mitchell still leading Elsing three to nothing. Toma at the moment by nine points in team score. Twenty-four fourteen they lead Holman. Forty-two seconds to go in the second period now. Elsing, as we said, six and six. He's a junior. And Mitchell, a junior, 24 and nine for Holman. Leading three nothing over Elsing. Seconds taken away in period number two. And Elsing trails 5 nothing now. So Elsing trailing 5 nothing as we go to period three now. Nothing to Nick Mitchell. We talked about it numerous times on paper matches that either Tom or Holman on paper were supposed to win. And for the most part that's happened, but for the most part it hasn't been via the pin though.
Little more than a minute to go in this match. Corey Elson drilling five to nothing for Toma. Five nothing to Mitchell. With a minute to go in the match now. Forty-five seconds to go in the match now. Thirty-six seconds to go in the match. Mitchell still in for home and five to nothing. Twenty-five seconds to go in the match. Still 5 nothing. Mitchell leading Elson. Ten seconds to go. So Mitchell is going to win for Holman against Corey Elson. 5 nothing is going to be your final. Team score 20. Tom Lidding and team score 23 17. Seth with tie check now for Holman. Justin Randall for Tom at 189 pounds. Six point lead for Tom and team score with two matches to go after this one. Justin Randall, a senior, 22 and 12 with 10 pins. Except for tie check for Holman, is a sophomore, but he's only wrestled one match. He's one and all coming in with tie check. The sophomore. This is one of these matches, if you're home and you throw a tie check out there, hoping he can hold his own against the senior Randall. He's held his own so far. Tyler Eckelberg coming up next at 2.15, and our final match tonight will be John Van Gundy at 2.75. Huge match for Toma here. I'm trying to pick up some points with two matches to go after this one. No score yet at 189 pounds. Justin Randall and Seth with Tychek for Holman. Randall for Toma. No score at 189. Seconds to go, 2 0 Randall lead in the third one. Final seconds took away in period number one. Randall leading 2 0 for Tony. At the moment, team score Toma 23-17 over Holman. And Randall leading 2-0 in his match. Two-nothing, Randall leading as we go to period two now, 189. 
Randall in the time check. Sole possession of first place and the MVC goes to the winner tonight. As both teams come in here, 4-0 in the MVC. Still leading two to one now for Toma with 1.20 to go in the second period. Two to one, Justin Randall leading for Toma. to go in the second period. Randall still leading with tie check, two to one. And it's matched at 189 pounds. Toma at the moment leading in team score by six. With two matches to go after this one. Check leading Randall now. The tie check ahead of Randall, three to two. Late in period two. Reversal for Randall. After two periods, Randall leading four to three now. Four to three, Randall leading with tie check. Final two minutes at 189. Six point lead and team points at the moment for Toma. With two matches to go after this one. The tie check, the sophomore for Holman. Randall, the senior for Toma, hanging on by one point is Randall. And it's with tie check and control. So for Toma, Randall looking pink. Justin Randall looking pink for Toma. Possibility of a tie. Holman has to win this match and the next match via the pin. Otherwise, Toma will win. If Holman wins the next two matches with pins, we'll have a tie. If they do not, Toma will win this match, leading 29 to 17 now. So either Eckelberg or Van Gundy just need to stay off their back for Toma. And the Indians will go to 5-0 in the MVC. Eckelberg now for Toma. In control for Toma. Not anymore. Medinger looking.
Hook and pin. Manager looking pin on Eckelberg. Come down to one match. <laughs> Mettinger wins in a minute two for Holman. So now it comes down to heavyweights. If Van Gundy gets pinned, we have a tie. If he doesn't get pinned, Tomer wins. And the crowd on their feet now. <laughs> Jordan Abia for Holman, a senior. John Van Gundy, the freshman for Toma. Needs to stay off his back. If he can do that, Toma will win the match. Otherwise, we will have a tie. It's that simple. Abita 28 and 6. Van Gundy 18 and 12. Final match of the night. It's come down to this as you knew it probably would. Still no score in this 275 pound matchup. Van Gundy needs to keep from getting pinned and Tom will win the match. It's that simple. Van Gundy does not have to win, although you hope he does. But as long as he doesn't get pinned, Tomo will win, beat Holman here tonight. 45 seconds to go in the first period. No score yet. seconds to go in the first period still no score between Van Gundy and Abitra seven seconds to go in the first period still no score As you look at what we're talking about, anything but a pin by Holman and Tomo will win this match. Anything but a pin. No score, period two. Van Gundy. And a bite for Holman. The crowd getting into it now. You can hear the Holman crowd yelling for Petra. The Prim Van Gundy. Two nothing. Abitra leads Van Gundy. With 120 still to go in the second period. The freshman Van Gundy trying to stay off his back for Toma. And preserve the win for Toma. But Abitra has other ideas for him. Abitra looking pin. And it ends in a tie.
comes in 3-0-3 for Holman, and the match ends in a 29-29 tie. Back with the wrap-up coming up. Stay with us. tiebreaker criteria if it ends in a tie. And it came down, they started announcing it before we came back. But the major tiebreaker was Tactical Falls. Everything else was dead even up until Tactical Falls and Toma had more Tactical Falls. So with that criteria in the tiebreaker, Toma beats Holman 30 to 29 on the tiebreaker criteria. Technical falls is what it came down to. Satoma so wins 30 to 29. They're going to against Holman.